Hey there. Are you having issues customizing the dashboards that you're building to an exact need, perhaps provided by a graphic artist or to meet corporate branding requirements or just any type of visual customization that you want? Some products have trouble adding simple color. No matter how far you push the envelope, is it still stationary? If you've been using Dund SBI for a while, you've probably already explored the properties, the quick access panel, the advanced properties. Let me give you a quick refresher in case you aren't familiar with Dund SBI. But today I'm gonna to show you some advanced customizations and how you can take your dashboards even further than the already immense customization available in Dund SBI today. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So to recap the customization that's already available today, I'm in the edit mode for a dashboard. So first of all, let's click on a visual and you can see that we have all these properties on the right hand side. Properties can be nested. So you can see that I have series and those have properties. And then we have different subcategories of properties. And even within the subcategories, there's more nesting with more properties. So you have a lot of control here in terms of what you want to set and how you want to make this look. There's other areas. If you go into the data analysis panel, the top level of this is designed to give you the structure of the data of what you want to see. But the visualization tab actually gives you even more control. So this is what we do with the data. So you can see by default, a lot of the basic ones are just sort of hidden. But if I open up the series, what are we doing with the tooltip? How are we customizing labels? Am I dynamically coloring the chart? Am I adding notes? All right, how am I customizing the various axes on here? So there's already a lot of control. And you want more control? What are you, nuts? No, of course you do. We want much more control. I'm a developer too. So let's see how much further we can go with this. Well, one very interesting thing we can do on this dashboard is actually customize some of the fonts by bringing in a font that's not offered by default. So if I click on one of these charts and I go to text, you can see that there's a font family property. And there are some basic fonts that are provided out of the box. But if you want to bring in your own font, let's actually just run over here to fonts.google.com. I can't spell, sorry. And let's take a new font. So let's take this Montserrat. I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to take this link code. I'm going to bring it into our dashboard. And using the HTML label, I'm just going to put it to the side. I'm going to paste that link code in here. So this HTML label will render whatever you give it in terms of code. Neat tip. There's a property on the dashboard for font family for every visualization. But if you go to the dashboard itself, there's one that can be used to set the global font family. So if I just type in the word Montserrat here, that's the new font that the entire dashboard is going to take on. So two pieces, just link it and then just use the name as is. Really neat customization. Now another really neat thing that you can do is use CSS in order to customize what you're seeing on the dashboard. So with the CSS, same idea. I can use that HTML label control in order to just have the CSS run on just this dashboard. By the way, there's also an overrides file that you can set for the entire application if you want to do some CSS overrides that are more global and always happening. So that's available for you too. But by pasting in a CSS override right into this HTML label, you can see by running it, I've now added a rounded border to my filter control. Because one of the options that the filter control doesn't offer is a border that's rounded. So it's just something you could customize. You could do anything here into flashing animations, right? Fiery effects. CSS can do anything. So if you're not familiar with CSS, maybe take a look at W3 schools, get a quick feel for just what CSS can do and what it can customize. And then you can start applying these to your dashboards as well, assuming you want even more control. Another thing you could do is actually just add your own controls to the dashboard. Libraries like D3 have hundreds of visualizations that you can use and code and customize. So if you want to bring those into your dashboard, you can. Here's an example where we actually bring in Bing Maps. 
And you can see it's using very much the same concept. We're bringing in some JavaScript to get the library in, and we're simply embedding it onto the page in a certain place. So you do have a lot of control here in terms of customization. It's to the point now where if for whatever reason the properties that Dundas doesn't provide, and you saw there's a lot of them, don't give you exactly what you want, you can do anything else with code. So it really is sky's the limits in terms of customization. That's it. I hope you enjoy these tips. And as always, we'd love to hear from you. Ask Jeff at Dundas.com.